Everything is over, the deal is struck. Let's see what the family does now. We've done what we've done, the life's down to luck. Let's see what the family does now. Give her the space, the knowledge and all the world will allow. For the wrangling is over, the deal is struck. Let's see what the family does now. after 35 years, is finally a 273 mile dual carriageway. <laughs> they safely pass Canusi, the Pier Gorms, Abbey Moor, the Sloch Summit, and eventually run parallel with General Wade's Road into the city of the north, Inverness. They stop in Hootenanny's village. <laughs> and the people of the Millennium City tell the foundling and babe that security, health, and even wealth can be found further north than this, that our foundlings should invest in a newly gentrified croft. They keep pushing north in the shadows of Monroe's, Keswick Tor for Troes, Monlochy Bay, the Cromarty Firth, which still hosts the defunct Nig Yard. It's now a museum, and for 10 Scottish pounds, you can learn about a woman called Thatcher and the great blunder of North Sea Oil. Still pushing north, Tain, Dornoch, and to Golsby, where after 200 years and to celebrate 35 years of Scottish independence, the Duke of Sutherland's 100 foot statue has finally been toppled. The stone, ground down and dumped in Dundrobin Castle's now poorly maintained car park. Soon after Helmsdale, the landscape begins to change. It's flatter, empty, the site of the clearances. The North Sea, empty of oil now, is still a rich resource, hydro. The once empty and roofless crofts are now grand designs, with original stone doorways and large south-facing windows. Wick has been given city status, a city of independence. The foundling sees that the people here are rich, the families once cleared of the lands have returned, abandoning their new towns in the central belt. They reclaimed the crofts belonging to their ancestors and set up their own hydro and wind farms, selling green energy to the grid, to England. Our foundling considers whether this is where she and her babe should stop, settle down, eat local, organic, and live off renewable <laughs> energy. Getting a croft and filling it with art and love, leaving one wall white, for the refractions and reflections of her south-facing windows. Her man's still in tow, and he admits that the wide skies, excellent broadband connection and signal coverage is appealing. They keep moving, only stopping at least for a swim. Our foundling watches a babe in the water, enjoying the surprisingly tepid six degree North Sea. She's growing up fast, and our foundling is pushing 40. We need to stop. They reach the bustling international port of John O'Groats. They wonder where to go next. With the world at their feet, they could jump on a boat to anywhere. Orkney, Shetland, the Faroe Islands, Norway, Iceland, Svalbard, or Newcastle. <laughs> Let's see what the family does now. 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 Let's see what the family does now.